In this video, I want to take a minute to demonstrate how useful and powerful the stack component can be. Because in effect, we're just concatenating cross sections as you move along. So with insert, if you're copying that over and over and over again, you can create repeated patterns. So for some given shift in X, Y, and Z, and a shift in rotation, if you just keep inserting components again and again and again, you'll get a, a solid component that propagates through space or repeats itself or oscillates. So to demonstrate this, I have here a three section stack that's wrapping around this rod down the middle. And if you look at the cross section, I've given it some shift in X, Y, and Z to start to get a pattern here where it steps down. And the delta Z is mostly just to set the pitch. I've given it some skinning so that it's kind of smooth on the outside, but it's not perfectly circular. And a little bit of rotation so that the sections turn each time we step around. So picking the middle cross section here, let's watch what happens if I just start inserting over and over again. So I'm gonna add and just keep going. So here I've gone one full turn around. Let's go one more. And now we've got two full threads as we move over. Now I could keep clicking on this over and over and over again and you'd end up with you know 50 or 100 cross sections. And honestly, VSP would do it but it would take up a lot of memory because it's trying to store every single one of those cross sections for each one of these repeated parts. So rather, why don't we go ahead and just copy this and paste it to it. Say we're going to attach, set this to zero and set this to negative 0.8 because we know what our pitch was. We just need this multiple of it. And now, because I chose to close the caps on the first and last section, on both of these, I now have a repeated section of a repeating section. So what I should be able to do now is just copy and paste, and click and paste, and paste, and paste, and you get the idea that you can keep repeating this. So I have here, just two threads repeated in a circle using a stack, and then I'm concatenating each one of those objects together so that I can thread this entire thing if I want to. And VSP is fine with that. So you can create really interesting, complex, sometimes really odd geometries with a stack component that would be next to impossible with any other component in VSP.